how's everyone going cold day back again dropping another video right guys i've been someone's asked me to do a video on sexual relationships in prison between not between inmates with inmate, you'd be glad to hear but between prison officers and prison inmates i.e female screws and uh, male inmates and stuff right it does go on surprisingly so it's it shouldn't happen right prisoners love it when it's happening like prison officers don't like it so much um and the it, the cat's always got a way of getting out of the bag everyone seems to find out about it you hear you know what i mean like if a prisoner's like having something to do with a screw right it's big talk on a wing <clears throat> when you're in prison right anyone that's been in prison will be able to relate to this <clears throat> you become gossips in prison well like we turn into old bit old bags or something serious but yeah um i've never had a sexual relationship with a screw myself um one of my former padmates did and i was going to that a bit later but yeah like i say um sometimes a lad if it's obvious that a female screw is taking a liking to the lad the other the other cons will be like listen right take one for the team right in other words right she's not she might not be a looker right? you get a lot of good looking female screws in prison as well yeah man and there's a lot of female nurses within the prison as well that are all good, good looking girls when you when you've been locked up for weeks months years right any little bit of uh, female that comes comes across your path, mate, you're turning into like a fucking, like you're strong like bull, you know what I mean? You fucking, uh, you're honest to God, that the, your standards, right, could go from up here, right? And when you're in prison, right, you'd be, you'd be aiming down here. When you see ugly women, right, you just want to fuck them, right? And it's, like I say, it's just the facts and stuff. It's not, if you, like I say, there was a lad that I was in prison with on my last stretch, right? And he said, he said, like there was a female nurse, right, that clearly quite liked him, right? He, he was in shape, he was in the gym all the time and all that stuff, right? Uh, he was on remand, yeah, looking at um, a big stretch for a drugs charge, yeah? Big drugs uh, charge. And um, she used to take a liking to him and stuff, and whenever you see her on the wing, she'd always be talking to him, right? Now, obviously, this don't go unnoticed by the rest of the cleaners and everything else, right? But he, he didn't, he, he weren't banging her or anything, but he said, like he said, I wouldn't even look at her on the out. But obviously, like, inside, she's like a fucking supermodel, yeah, man, right? And like I say, it, um, but like I say, the lads will tell people, if a screw's interested in a, in, a, in a con, yeah, that we tell the con to go for it. Why? Because you can blackmail the fuck out of that screw, yeah, man, right? Obviously, there's a lot of mobile phones within prison and stuff, right? Now, if you can record all the con that's starting to see a screw, if he can record anything of the screw, right, whether it's sexual contact, groping, whatever, right, um, or the screw, or the, like, he can film any part of that, um, he can then blackmail that screw to bring in drugs, right, we're cons at the end of the day, what do you expect from us, right, it's a fucking, we use every situation to our advantage, guys, right, it's as simple as that, um, so yeah so we were so like i say if it's obvious that a female member of staff is taking an interest in one of the lads you tell her you tell your boy to go for it like listen take one for the team if she's going to start bringing drugs in or if we can get her on video right to manipulate her to blackmail her right to bring in drugs and contraband yeah fucking I'll, I'll go for it and stuff like i say prison supply and demand yeah and like i say to get by you have to go by yeah so you have to do it you have to fucking yeah if you have to take one for the team you take one for the team luckily enough while i was in prison um i never had such a situation put upon me um but yeah one of my boys that i was when i was first time in forest bank yeah back in the day right one of the boys I was padded up with, check this out, no bullshit, yeah, serious, true story, right, one of my boys that I was padded up with, right, right, I was, right, I'd be, it's my first time, right, I'd, be, I'd been in strange ways, right, and I'd been fucking security moved to Forest Bank, right, um, I wasn't having issues or anything, my cold D landed at the prison, my cold D was very, very well known in Manchester, and then they shipped me, right, simple as that. Like I said, me and my Cody were on the same wing. We were sweet, we was boys. But like I say, um, we ended up... So anyway, I got shipped to Forest Bank, right? So I landed at the prison, right? And they was processing me and stuff. And there's these two kids in this left-hand room. Now, like I said in previous like videos, I, I was on this 
King documentary on crime here in Manchester and stuff like that. Um, and one of the kids, there was two kids in this like holding cell, and one of them recognised me. Right, I didn't know him, but he knew my face. Right, um, so I got processed, and then I ended up in this room with these two kids. Right. Um, he was like, yeah, yeah, uh, sweet, sweet. And he was like chatting to me and all that. I said, look, I've just been shits in from the, from the ways as it's no strange ways. Um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. There was this other kid that was a bit quiet, right? Anyway, when I, them two got taken onto the wing and then I got caught in a, a, a freeze, yeah. Freeze is where no one can move in the prison. So I, I ended up on a wing like an hour or so later, half an hour, 45 minutes later. I get on the wing and then the kid that I was in the, booth with yeah in the holding cell he was like oh come here come here he said the life of once we padded up with you i said the life i said that other kid that was with us right um so right so he was obviously been done for murder right he was a murderer not him the the kid the other they were like i said there was two in the room right so the, the next minute right some one of the lads has jumped up on the bars i didn't even know this i just stepped onto the wing Right, fuck, you know. So, yeah, so they, they stuck me in some cell, some cell with a smackhead. I said, listen, I ain't staying in here. Oh, yeah, man, get me the fuck out. So he said, right, you want to go in with Holmes, yeah? Right, so I said, right. So I ended up, he asked to be padded up with me, right? Um, he was like, I was one of the biggest lads on the wing and stuff, right? Six foot four, 20, 22, 20 stone, yeah? Right, I'm a big lad. But like I say, that doesn't stand for shit in prison. Like I say, I don't think I'm a big man or anything. It's just, that's just, he was, and he asked to be padded up with me. I didn't even know the kid, so I thought, that's a bit strange. So I ended up padded up with him. Sweet kid, got on with him well. He was in for killing his dad with an hammer. Um, or as he called it, a nasty DIY accident, right? He fucked his dad up beyond any recognition, right? But his dad was trying to announce his sister. Um, so, yeah, retribution and stuff. It is, his dad deserved to die, right? Simple as that. Right, and now become a Buddhist and all this stuff, right? And blah blah blah. Right, check this serious. Like anyway, like I said, I've got to the point though. Right, check this out. There's a fit female screw, right? But we was all like thinking like, oh, she's a good looking girl. She's a good looking girl, right? She was slim, petite, nice ass, great tits, all the good stuff, right? Like I say, when you don't see much, like you get ugly female screws, and you've got decent female screws. Uh, depending on your standards and stuff like i say your standards will drop in prison you know what i mean you know um so anyway right he was on the he was on the bog having a shit right no airs no graces guys it is what it is he was on the bog having a shit right and we both clearly like we both like this fucking screw the the female screw popped the door and he was on a bog right oh mate his head fell off me right his head fell off me he's fucking your head falling off me when you're like embarrassed and don't you just want to die of embarrassment right and she come in and he and then she shut the door there quick and he was oh fucking hell he was embarrassed beyond belief he'd been in prison six seven years right uh, he was only 25 and he i think he'd done I think he was like 19 when he got sentenced, 18, 19, yeah, right, so that was that, um, anyway, right, eventually, I, because I was on remand, yeah, on a witness intimidation, he was obviously doing, he was doing a 23-year stretch before he was eligible for parole and stuff, yeah, top lad, loving to bits, right, um, I ended up getting out on a bail app, right, just got a canteen that morning, big fat canteen, yeah, £47.50 canteen, big hefty thing, Left it to, to him because obviously you, you you leave things behind in prison so because the lads have got nothing. Um, so you, you always leave your stuff behind. I gets out, yeah. I give him my fucking my phone number for my landline and that. I gets out, bam, he's on the phone, right. He's like, ah, he got a fucking, he, then he ended up getting a blower, right, mobile, right. He's like, ah, it's your door, I'm seeing her, I'm seeing her. I said, fuck off. Like, I then found the screw on Facebook. Right, she was a lesbian, mate. Like married in a lesbian relationship, right? And he ended up fucking getting with her, mate. Serious, no bullshit, right? And you know what the weird thing is, right? God's honest truth, yeah. She then ended up quitting working for Sodexo Justice Services. Straight up, no bullshit, right? I was talking to Screws with. It. I was talking to some of the some of the decent Screws on my last stretch about this female Screw, right? We don't do names, right? But yeah. And I said, I said, she's she was a lesbian. He said, yep. I said she was married to a female. Yep. There was because the Facebook profile picture was with her and a, a lesbian with a wife cutting the fucking cake on the day of the wedding day, 
right? He ended up seeing her, and they was having, like, she was, like, any, like, just sexual, like, sort of thing. She'd get her tits out and stuff, and, like, fucking, like, he'd have, he'd have a grope and stuff. She'd walk in the pad, and they'd, they'd put the door to, and they'd have a quick grope and a fondle and all that sort of stuff. Um, but do you know what the weird thing was? He'd actually been shipped to Forrest Bank from Gar for doing the same fucking thing. He, he was he was a good-looking lad, I suppose you could say, right? And he was he was banging a fucking female screw, right? Actually fucking her, right? At fucking Garth Prison, right? Uh, which has just been written off by the Inspector of Prisons, right? In the last few days, right? Um... But I so I thought it was a bit far fetched. I thought, nah, nah, fuck off, fuck off, right? I thought, because I, I, when he told me about it, he got shipped from Garth for banging a screw, I thought, nah, nah, nah. But one of the South African kids, yeah, Solback, right, who was with him, right, uh, that was his nickname, right, um, what was it? Brother, he used to walk into the bed and I could smell the fucking sex. Yes, he could smell it, right? And I thought, wow, so serious. So it goes on, right? And I was like, ah, fucking hell. And anyway, so like I say, this lesbian ended up fucking finishing with a missus, right? Quitting her job. She works now in cash in transit, I believe. And she's now with my boy. Now he then got, he was up on accumulate on what you call AVs, yeah, accumulated visits, right? That means where well, you've not had a visit for ages and stuff. And then they brought him back to the area because he was down in there. Stoke, right? Uh, Nottingham, sorry, Nottingham, right? So they brought him back up on these accumulated visits that way he could have a visit every day. Then they sent him back, yeah, to not, uh, yeah, the Grange, yeah, right? Uh, prison. And on when you're at the Grange, yeah, near Nottingham on a visit, right, you can actually have a picture with your loved ones, right? <laughs> Because I had him on Facebook and stuff, right? Because he was on Facebook because he had a blower and everything, blah, 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 right? He fucking, he ended up put, posting a picture of her and him and sent me the picture and it was her. And I was like, what the fuck, mate? So like I say, there's many reasons why people do it. He ended up falling in love with the guys, right? Um, and like I say, he's a top, top lad and I wish him both the, all the happiness in the world, right? But how mad is that for the story within the prison system, right? Like I say... It's, it's, it shouldn't happen, right? Obviously, as cons, right? We don't give a fuck, right? Pussies, pussy boys, yeah, man. Right? But so sorry to put it like blatantly girls like that, but I, it is what it is, right? Uh, so, yeah, so that was a bit crazy. Um, but like I say, he was a good kid and stuff. It, obviously, from prison officers, they frown upon it and stuff. And she, if she if it would, she would have got caught out, she would have been fucked over, yeah? They would have sat her on the spot. But she actually changed her job to cash in transit, right um and that was that but she's actually with my boy um and that's it and then he's since been shipped again to another prison and it's evaded me at this time um but yeah he got shipped to another prison so that was that um yeah guys but like i say there's many reasons why it, sometimes it, there is a mutual attraction between the female screw and the con right girls right girls love a bad boy right not all girls it's not for everybody but a lot of girls like bad boys they like a bit of rough don't they a little bit of an outlaw and stuff don't give a fuck right they like all that because good guys yeah they're no fun right there's a saying in the good guys are no fun um bad boys are no good right blah 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 right but girls love a bad boy right so there is right when you're in a close environment like that of course there's going to be sexual tension and stuff like that of course right so like i say but then you've got lads where the female screw might fancy the lad the lad will flirt with her right then he's got her on side then and then she can start bringing drugs in right and at first they resist and resist some of them say no out and out but then as time goes on the urges get the better of them and they end up bringing drugs in and stuff for the prisoners and stuff and that's not just certain prison that's just the whole of the prison system guys it's as simple as that um like i say it's a very it's prison and like i say you've got all these lads pent up and stuff of course they're gonna have sexual attraction and sexual tension towards female staff of course and female staff when you're in close proximity and you're working with the lads all the time of course they're going to take an interest in the lads and like i say some lads genuinely like the female screw or nurse if not they're using that female nurse or screw to bring stuff in for them. And then if they say no, they've got them on record on the video, on the phone, right? And then they can manipulate them and uh, not for sex or anything. I mean, like to bring stuff in, blackmail them. Like I say, because then if they, if that video 
ended up in the hands of the governor. The governor would then be duty bound to hand it to the police. That person could then be getting in trouble, the female screw or nurse, for supplying HMP, right, for bringing drugs into a, into a, a prison, which is not allowed, but obviously it's rife everywhere. Uh, so yeah, that so there would have been serious consequences. So then, what what what's your alternative? You you've got to fucking you've got to you, you do it or you, that's it. You don't like I say, you, you could hand that tape over. I don't think the cons would hand the tape over, but like I say, just the threat of it uh, carries on bringing the drugs in, bringing the mobile phones in, and everything else, guys. Right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, this is just uh, another vlog, another video. Right, guys, speeches all soon. Bye.